To be honest, we thought our snack game was a little weak, so we had an idea. Hi, I am Uncle and this is Nice, and we're gonna show you how to make air fried Oreos. So I went to the store because we wanted to show you two ways to do this. One with crescent rolls and the other one with pancake batter. With regular Oreos and golden Oreos. First stop is Aunt Jay. So grab yourself a bowl, grab yourself a measuring cup and pour one cup of the flour into the bowl. Trust me, one cup is all you need. By the way, we are using the original pancake mix, but you could also use the buttermilk one. Whatever flips your pancake. <laughs> Grab yourself an egg and crack it in. We're also gonna add a tablespoon of coconut oil. And if you don't like coconut oil, you can use, well, some therapy because coconut oil is the best. Go ahead and add your milk and we're gonna be using almond milk because one of us is lacking toes over here. Make sure you pour it little by little so you can get the right consistency. You definitely don't want it to be watery. Go ahead and mix it all up. And dang, look at these mixing skills though. Who's boy, yeah. Master chef over here. Yeah, that's when my niece's OCD kicked in and well, kill my vibe but it's all good because we got to go ahead and get ready for the next step so let's grab some parchment paper is that what it's called or non-stick paper whatever the only cooking paper let's go with that so make sure to cut the paper the same shape as your air fryer because you don't want to mess with the airflow inside this could prevent the heat from being distributed evenly and I'm totally kidding. I have no idea how these things work. I saw someone else do it and well, I wanted to seem like I knew what I was doing. Anyway, let's get our Oreos cooking. So let's go ahead and dip our Oreos into the batter and then place them into the air fryer. And as you can see, my mix is a little watery, but let's just say I'm showing you what not to do. But don't they look good already? Heck yeah. So let's place them into the air fryer for about 10 minutes. And while we wait, we have a dance battle. Yeah, we just come to win. Actually, we're just gonna go ahead and get started on our crescent roll air fried Oreos. You know, to save time and then compare them with the pancake mixed ones. It is definitely not because I lost to a six year old or anything. So the reason why we put flour on the cutting board is because the crescent rolls are really sticky and will stick to anything. So you better stick to my advice. And no, I was not about to give a six year old a knife. If that's what you saw, your eyes are wrong and you need to add more carrots to your diet. Please don't call child services. Anyway, go ahead and wrap your Oreos with the dough. And as you can see, this is the easiest and the fastest way to make them. You don't have to worry about a mix, but we're about to find out which ones do taste better so our pancake ones are ready and they're not stuck together they just decided to hold hands so take them out put them on a plate and then put your other oreos inside just like that so they can air fry give it about 10 minutes and you should be all right so the oreos are ready and let me tell you the excitement is real they smell so freaking amazing we could not wait to try them to finish it off we're gonna add some powdered sugar and we're gonna add some hershey's chocolate syrup as if there wasn't enough sugar in this and as if we've never heard of diabetes well here it is people the moment of truth. Can I get a drum roll, please? Oops, sorry, I dropped the drum. Okay, here we go. Heck to the yeah! Holy crap, these things are good. Here, let me show you, see? So I started off with the pancake ones and my niece started off with the crescent roll ones. So of course we had to switch just to see which one stays better. She says she liked the crescent roll ones better, but honestly, I like both. Now wait, pause. Check out how amazing they look. Oh yeah, the Oreos look good too. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started on our golden Oreo one. Same process, go ahead and dip them in the mix, but this time we're gonna add some sprinkles. Because why not raise our blood pressure with all this sugar? I'm just kidding, you'll be fine says every fast food restaurant in America. And look, you're still alive. Don't worry, once you get the first bite, it is totally worth it. So put them in the air fryer and YOLO it. It's all about moderation, people. Also, you follow the same process for the crescent roll ones. Grab your Oreos, wrap them up like pigs in a blanket. As for the sprinkles, you might have to smack them in. Sprinkle the sprinkles and give them a little pat. Just like that, otherwise they won't stay. Can you spot the creativity in this? They look like little birthday cakes. Go ahead and put them in your air fryer for just about 10 minutes and they are ready. And we're gonna top it off with La Lechera. And if you have if you haven't had this, you need to try this ASAP. For all my English speaking friends, La Lechera in English is La Lechera. And you can find this at your local store in the Latino aisle. The Oreos were so good, we melted. All jokes aside, you all really need to try these. Make them for your family, make them for your friends, or make them for yourself. Just remember to stay safe, God bless, and see you next time. Adios. Hey, yo, B. Your ball. Oh, do it again. <laughs> Do it again. For real? Yeah. You're not just saying. No, it's better. Actually, come back. Ready? Grab one. <coughs> Girl. <coughs> <coughs> yep. Don't say. Don't say. Cookie burrito. The cookie burrito. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we put it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Bye, Leslie.